closest to the sun. It takes 88 Earth days for Mercury to orbit the sun and 59 Earth days to rotate fully on its axis. The surface of Mercury is a subject to intense heat from the sun, but temperatures at night drop well below freezing. Second one is Venus. Venus. Venus is similar to Earth in size and mass, but its atmosphere is mainly composed of carbon dioxide. Venus is characterized by volcanic activity and intense heat because its dense toxic atmosphere traps the heat from the sun and runs away greenhouse effect. Temperatures on Venus are hot enough to melt lead. Now, third planet is my favorite because it is Earth. Earth. Our planet Earth is unique in our solar system. Earth has air, water, and life, creating a constantly changing world. Earth's distance from the sun makes it ideal for life to persist because temperatures are not too hot or cold. The fourth planet is red, not the middle one, it's Mars! Mars. Mars is known as the red planet. It has the diameter of Earth, but has the same amount of dry land. Mars, like Earth, has seasons. Polar ice caps, volcanoes, canyons, and weather. But its atmosphere is too thin for liquid water to persist on the surface. In 2004, six-year-old rover sent by NASA confirmed the presence of water ice below the surface. Planet is a gas giant and it is Jupiter! Jupiter! Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system with its dozens of moons and enormous magnetic field as having a kind of miniature solar system. The fifth planet from the sun. Jupiter is considered as a gas giant because it has no solid surface. It is mainly composed of hydrogen and helium. The planet's colorful clouds are created by jet streams and huge intense storms, such as the Great Red Spot, which has raged for hundreds of years. The sixth planet is... It is Saturn! Saturn, the sixth planet from the Sun, the second largest in the solar system, but its least dense Saturn is recognized by its ring system, a ice particle which are common to all the gas giants. Like Jupiter, Saturn has no solid surface and is mainly composed of hydrogen and helium. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, is the only moon in our solar system to have a substantiated atmosphere, according to BBC Science Correspondents. The seventh planet is Uranus. Uranus. Uranus appears to glow a blue-green color in the dim sunlight because its upper atmosphere is composed of methane. 
Absolute red light wave. Research by NASA scientists has led to the theory that the past collision with Earth-sized objects may be the reason why Uranus is dipped on its side. What is the equator nearly at right angles with its orbit? The eighth and last planet is... Neptune! Neptune. Neptune is the planet farthest away from the sun. More than 30 times as far from the sun as Earth. Neptune takes 165 Earth years to orbit the sun. The surface of Neptune is covered with icy bright blue methane clouds that speed around the planet at around 700 miles per hour. Before we have nine planets, and I include Pluto. But in August 2006, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet because it did not clear asteroids in its way. There are three criteria for the planet. One, it is orbit around the sun. Number two, it has sufficient mass to assume hydrostatic equilibrium and nearly round shape. Number three, it has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. Pluto meets only two of these criteria, losing out on the third one. In all the billions of years it has lived there, it has not managed to clear its neighborhood. I guess that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to click like and subscribe. See you in my next video here and in my channel. Bye!